new song this week? A new, new, new song. <laughs> the, the new song is, oh my goodness, there's so much going on that I, so am, much new. I, am, I can't handle all the news. All right, so uh, let's kick it off. I was like putting, like, I there's usually a have a minute on. before the NPR. There's a lot going on this week. New product. Okay, so let's kick it off. Okay, starting off, we have um, this like 30 in one DC adapter kit, and we do have a couple of DC adapters. Um, because basically all of our power supplies have 2.1 millimeter inner diameter, 5.5 millimeter outer diameter plugs, you know, our 9 volt adapter, 5 volt, 12 volt adjustable, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but people are like, I want to use this with some weird ass device with a weird ass connector. Okay, this is it. This is the weird ass adapter party. You get 30 adapters. Some are weirder than others. Um, I can show them off quickly. I just want to show people how they work because um, basically each one of them has a uh, 2.1 millimeter DC jack plug. You have your uh, standard wall adapter that we sell. Again, the most common sizing is 2.1 millimeter inner diameter. Uh, you plug it in and now it is a different plug. So let's say you're oh, like, cool. I have a weird uh, Lenovo uh, or Dell, uh, I think this is Lenovo, uh, rectangular laptop connector yeah. and you wanna plug it in. Okay, only thing is of course the adapters the adapters do not do any voltage conversion. They don't do any polarity conversion. So this is, they all assume that you have a center positive adapter because again, that's the, like 99% of things are center positive. Uh, not good for a, um, if you're doing something with, like there's some audio devices and pedals that use center negative. So basically you get just a ridiculous number of like, what is this? I don't know, it's some other laptop. This is like a Dell and Spirian thing. Who knows? This is like plugs. Sony and Lenovo. Plugs, plugs, plugs. You've <laughs> got stuff. And some of these are like a total nightmare. Like this one is yeah. like a, a phono jack. Um, <laughs> like I've, I've seen this. I've seen like your power goes this through is, a 2.5 millimeter cursed. phono. It's, it's totally cursed. Uh, yeah. You know, 1.1 millimeter inner diameter. All, just, yeah. all sorts of weird ass I have ones. so many things where I'm like, Can you imagine, I'm never like, going to find the power gonna adapter. I'm going to need this now. Yeah, yeah, so I'm taking this home because we're going to need it. There's always like, and, and like yeah. they all look really similar, but they're slightly different My sizes. My sharp Zaris PDA will finally <laughs> yeah. get charged up. Um, so yeah, so there you go. You get You get a whole bunch. Uh, so we recommend, there's two, two ways I recommend. One, use our DC power adapters. We have, again, an adjustable one. You can dial in the voltage when you need 19 volts or 17 volts or six and a half or whatever. We also have our USB Type-C uh, PD adapter. So you plug into a standard USB-C um, power supply and it gives you, again, a 2.1 millimeter. But then you're like, okay, I have to actually convert it to my laptop. So you want to basically turn your laptop into a USB-C powered device and it's using one of these crazy ridiculous plugs um you can then do that so uh 2.1 millimeter don't forget doesn't change the polarity doesn't change the voltage it just changes the plug okay and are the uh connectors labeled as to size they are not labeled on the the plugs themselves but on the website we have a list of every single size yeah but it's pretty much all of them. All right, what's next? Next up, we've got a bunch of servo helper cables. This is a shrouded servo to um, basically triple, like separated triple header plug. So you're like, why can't I just use plain headers? You can use plain uh, jumpers for this, um, but what's really nice is if you look at um, the socket, it's got that little notch cut out, which means you can't plug in your servo backwards. So it's kind of good for kits yeah. and workshops on the end. Um, the pins are separated, and what this means is if oh, that's kind of I nice. bring my demo, that's the song, is bring my demo. Um, around the overhead, I'll show really fast. You can take your servo, you plug it into the adapter, and then it splits apart. So if you're plugging into something like a servo, yeah. you're not doing the little game of like, how do I, that's which nice. cables are connected? You just have all the colors, and you have five ground, and whatever your signal line and then um, your servo is going back and forth. That's cool. We also have a version with alligator clips. Right. Same sort of thing. Uh, alligator clips separated out to um, a nice servo plug. Uh, again, you're like, why can't you use jumper cables, alligator? Well, it's got this nice, like it's shrouded and it's like the right orientation. And then um, for this, I will show this version on the overhead i know there's so many new products 
uh, you have a micro bit, you have a circuit playground express, you have some wearable thing. Um, you want to connect a servo, uh, you don't have to worry about mixing up pins or anything. Everything is like labeled uh, and ready to go. So it makes it very easy to uh, connect any standard servo. Just plug it straight through. And you get a little bit more length. Okay. Uh, next up, more cable adapters. This is a JST XH extender. JST XHs are 2.5 millimeter pitch. Um, they look like this. They're often used in uh, like arcade um, connectors or buttons or like anything yeah. that has like an LED that's connected to a wire. It's a pretty, you know, we have JST SH extenders and stuff, but XH is also used, um, like I said, especially for um, arcade buttons and micro switches. It's a very common connector. Um, so this gives you a bit of stretch. Okay, a little bit of a follow up from some of the things we were showing off last week. We've got more colors of these. These step switches, um, like the TR808, uh, we have the other video, of course, that also covers these. Um, they have a single pole double throw switch. They have a beautiful clicky connector and we've got them multiple colors with a red LED. So uh, again, often used in like step sequencers in the 80s, but I think it'd be pretty cool for some project you wanna build now. Um, they do work, uh, JP reported they worked in perf board. You know, things are on a 0.1 inch boundary, but they're not easily used in a breadboard where there's like um, lines for each row. They're best used in like a gridded proto board where you can kind of free wire them. Um, but you get a couple per pack and like, yeah, multiple colors, red LED, um, a great little input and they're very, very clicky. Yeah, so you can check out the page there. And we also are doing more of these potentiometer knobs. Yes, we've got these micro knobs, uh, sometimes referred to as Davies 1900 style. I've also got a beautiful demo with a potentiometer, rotary encoder. Um, what's nice is that they all have set screws. And so whether you have round, D shaft or T18, uh, doesn't matter. It'll work with any kind of six millimeter ish uh, knob. Um, so we've got brown, purple and green. And I think we actually even put in blue like right before the show, um, but it was just fine. We have, a, we have all the colors and don't forget, we also have a rainbow pack. Um, if you see down there in the corner, we have a pack with one of each color. So if you're like, I don't know which one I want, get the rainbow pack and it'll get you one of each. And then you can decide if you want, you know, the four packs of other knobs. Okay. And the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our community, our staff, our customers, um, is a product that grew in and from the community. Congratulations, Joey. Joey has a product in our store. It's a feather wing. It's the star of the show. Can this you week. distract people? Cause I left the demo on my desk. Can I distract people? Yeah, I okay. can always distract yeah, people. Okay. So, um, my distraction will be, so this, uh, print that we did of the, uh, Buddha scan, this one has a zero <laughs> infill. So it's hollow. Okay. This is a resin print. It's heavy. So that's it's a good distraction. Okay. Well. So let's start from the, let's start from the beginning. The star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our community, our customers, and our staff, and all the folks who purchase things at Adafruit, is this. LCD Featherwing. Joey, congratulations. Yes, he made a product. He kitted it, he sold it, we bought some. So this yeah. is a Featherwing, specifically um, for adding a really fun LCD display. He made a custom LCD display and apparently he did a talk about it too, which is cool. So this is a custom made LCD. Uh, this just demo shows it flashing. All these are individually controllable, but I'm just flashing them on or off. There's like a moon, there's an alarm, there's like a wireless signal, there's like data transfer, uh, there's a battery, AM, PM. Um, and then of course, uh, you can see multiple digits here. Not everything is lit up, but there's like another digit. Um, there's a uh, colon um, as well. You know, he's kind of, and you see there's decimal dots. So it's got lots of segments. Oh, and, and a negative sign back here. You can see that isn't lit yet. Um, so I just have it set up with the, the CircuitPython demo, which just sort of blinks a couple things and then increments uh, the time with the colon dots. Um, what's neat is that this uses a, unplug this here. It uses an I squared C, a very fine pitch, I squared C to LCD converter. So all of that like controlling of segments and like the timing and all that is taken care of for you. Um, you just have this chip, you connect over I squared C, he even has the instructions uh, in this bear, I think. I don't, I think it's a bear with like some sort of robotic leg. 
Um, and uh, it's got a reset button and you can um, change I squared C pins, you can change the address. And then uh, the custom LCD, which is like exactly the right size. You can make a clock, a calculator, a bandwidth detector, um, all, all sorts of cool stuff, whatever you'd like. And it works with uh, CircuitPython, although I think they'll probably be an Arduino library um, eventually for people who want that. Um, I'm using it on a Feather M4, but it'll work on you know any Feather any Feather device with I squared C, which is basically all of them um, will work with this design. And our receiving team said that uh, Joey's kits that came in were the best package. Everything was complete. Everything was perfect. Out of every vendor, we've had thousands of them. Congratulations, Joey. That is high praise from our team. All and right, so pick it up. That's this weekend products.